tizzy with like not knowing what to do, not being able to focus, oh so many options, what can I do? Oh everything seems too big and like I can't do it, blah 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 blah. So <laughs> I'm gonna sow some seeds and that was a I've got like a lot of garden stuff that I wanna do. But I'm not gonna do it all in one go. I'm just gonna pick a couple of things and we'll do those things. And that's just manageable. Keep it manageable. I also did this little envelope -y thing earlier. I don't have the screen up, so I don't know where I'm pointing. But I'm really pleased with this. I just, I've been having trouble with drawing. And like, it's like stops and starts. And then like something off, I'll be like getting really good and like happy with where I am creatively. And then something will happen and it will set me back a little bit. And that's just life. But yeah, I've been having trouble and I did these little drawings and I really like them. And even more with drawing, I think, it's important, not like all of the time, sometimes you just do a drawing because it's like a job or whatever, but it's the process of drawing is as important. Like sometimes I'll be like, oh my God, this drawing is amazing. Just because I had a really good time while I was drawing it. And I wonder then when you show it to other people, when they just see the drawing, they didn't experience the drawing of it. Like it probably is just like, oh yeah, that's just a drawing. Sometimes, sometimes they'll be like, wow, that's really cool. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I had a nice time drawing those things and now I'm going to plant some seeds.
I just made my Etsy shop live again. Um, it was shut for the week for the strike. It was really nice seeing everyone, like lots of people care about it. I don't think Etsy responded to it at all. I didn't really expect them to, but it was nice to see everybody kind of coming together and being like, I don't know. It was nice to see people talking about it and taking part in the strike and stuff. But yes, yeah, so my shop is open again. I had a big list of things I wanted to sort out. I did a kind of a bit of a spring clean. It's probably not very noticeable, but I stocked up on some things and I had to change some prices and I sorted out postage because the Etsy fees have gone up and postage prices have gone up. But also I've brought back international everywhere postage and the standard cheaper option that doesn't come with tracking. So that's like the, you can save some money, but it's riskier choice for you because I know that I always go for that. And then if the package doesn't turn up, which never really happens, but if something, I think occasionally I've ordered something and it hasn't ever come and I'm like, well, I should have paid for tracking. I'm always choosing the cheaper option and just taking that risk. And I know that it's my choice. So I like to give other people the choice and tracking is there if you want it. Um, yeah, just kind of been putting around. I added a new header, which I think is cute. Um, yeah, and the shop is open now. Please, please check it out. Please tell your friends about it. I'm going to be working very hard on making more things and better things. And I really, 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 really just want to get into a more stable situation financially. Um, and I want my shop to be the main way that I'm doing that. So I'm going to work very, very hard. And I hope that you can just keep checking in and having a look. And maybe, maybe I can... Maybe I can get there, but I don't know. I always feel so awkward. I'm like, spend your money on me. <laughs> you don't have to, <laughs> but also it'd be nice. Because <laughs> it's down to me to make something that you want to spend your money on. And I'm going to do my damnedest to get there. Yeah. I can't remember why I turned the camera on except to say that my Etsy shop is open and I've said that, so. <laughs> I went out and I went a little bit wild for me anyway and I bought myself some things and just look at this tape look at this little guy if it will focus on him oh my gosh please focus on him look at him wiggle wiggle eh. <laughs> can't turn it look he's like oh I'm just going along oh I'm going along it's so cute. I also got this um, insect book from a charity shop. It's nice and big. And has all this cool insect stuff going on in it. And look at these end papers. So cool.
they'll be forced to kill you. Huh. Is that supposed to scare us? Ah! You are a fool. You will never destroy me by severing the spider web. <laughs> hard time knowing when something is finished like I've just been making these little patches I painted I dyed the fabric I don't know how long ago and then I painted the fabric last week the week before I'm not sure and then today I made these little I did this worm guy little worm friend with some sequins and then I've just done this with some beads. It says grow weeds. And again, it's that painted fabric and then I've put these on. And this one, I'm not sure if I want to add more to it or if that's enough. Because simple things are nice and cool. I mean, it's still like been painted and is like beads. It's not exactly minimalist. <laughs> and then... Sometimes it's cool to add loads of stuff. And I think what I find difficult is knowing whether I'm not doing more to it genuinely because I think it's fine as it is and it's good and finished. Or like there's that bit in my brain that's like, oh, you're just being lazy. You're just being like, oh, yeah, that's finished. And then I don't have to do any more. And then I panic that that's what I'm doing. And then I'm not sure. I don't know. Is this... Simple and nice, or does this need something? How do you tell? The worm needed sequins, definitely. Pretty much everything needs sequins. That's why I'm like, should I put sequins on this? I think maybe this is good on its own. Because then once it's sewn on to like a jacket or a bag or a jumper or something, and then like the stitches, like where it gets attached to the thing, then that adds to it. I think it's done. I like it. I think I'm just having brain dilemmas. I love making things. 